first coach, um, tell, tell me where you come from. Is this your first year here? or? Uh, yeah, first year here in uh, Texas. Um, originally from Mississippi. Okay. Um, moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, did a little bit of coaching there at uh, Shiloh Middle School and uh, did some, um, what, what would you call it, uh, basically position work with um, some high school guys, helping them with technique and um, just becoming a better technician of the game. Moved out here for uh, for work and um, been loving it ever since, man. Got the opportunity from uh, from Coach Baye, and I've been loving it ever since. Yeah, um, it, it's just – it's a unique place. Uh, you know, it's a starting up, and, uh, you know, you have an opportunity to, to build something, build a legacy, and, and uh, you know, really give something uh, back to the community and really for the kids to look forward to something and, you know, take pride in their school and build it up. And um, I know that's uh, – the the, probably the the, the, the all important step is beating the Eagles and I, I know that's uh, I know that's on the calendar next week and uh, we'll, we'll talk to coach Mack about it later on but uh, <laughs> coach uh, you know this uh, you know this, this program you know it comes with challenges obviously it's, it's a it's a newer school right you're you're uh, especially when you have smaller schools like this um, you know you have a limited pool of players and you've got to try to make the most of what you do of course you play six-man football uh, for those that don't know and if you have not watched uh, six-man football it's it's fast. It's fun. Uh, it's just it's unique. Um, some of the motions and some of the things that done you if it's your first time watching it, you may say, I don't think that's legal. Um, but trust me, it is legal unless you see a flag. So uh, I won't pretend to know all the rules and everything that you can do. Uh, but it's fun to watch. and It's different. Um, can you let's start with let's start there. Just the, the challenges and how unique it is. Six man football It's very unique um, because it is six man. You know, it's hard to. It's hard to be able to cover every square inch of the field, you know, the way you can do with 11-man football. You know, you can, you know, you have your down lineman guys and then you have your back end. So it's harder to, um, it's harder to predict and be able to, uh, you know, coach guys up to be able to contain and have a good scheme for it. You know, defense is a, is a definite challenge, which is why you see a lot of high-scoring games. Um, offensively, you know, the goal is to, you know, take advantage of those opportunities and, um, you know, every chance we can, every chance we can get, put the ball in the box. When when you start uh, when you, when you started this position and, and you start trying to coach up kids and, and find out their strengths and their weaknesses and things like that, um, you know what, what's what's the message to the team uh, to try and say, hey, uh, this is a process uh, that I feel like that term is used a lot and especially uh, I think for Dallas Cowboys they use that term a little bit too much maybe, <laughs> but uh, but you know uh, there is a process to it and um, you know what what kind of buy-in are you seeing? What kind of messages are you trying to send to the to the kids? Yeah, so since day one, I mean, these guys can attest to it. Um, we've wanted to – the biggest thing we want to do is with us being a smaller program, we have to make sure that, you know, we can get everybody on the field. So the biggest thing is from day one just getting a buy-in, putting in that sweat equity, and then, you know, showing everybody that, hey, um, we have athletes, and then we can build athletes as well. You know, so that's been a lot of our practices is just getting guys in the right, uh, in the right position, seeing what they're about, um, and also building – getting guys better every day get bigger stronger faster every day and then from that point with our coaching staff I feel like we have a great you know coach Faye did a great job of putting the group together um, I feel like we have a, a great group of guys that can actually um, pour into the kids and so that's something that we've been doing on the daily the um, and s some of the challenges too here in Texas uh, and, and down south as well but the heat so, so how have you guys managed this year? You know, um, you know what, what have you, uh, you guys put in place? You know, are you are you able to, to find any indoor, uh, say, you know, places to go? Yeah. So we actually um, starting Tuesday, we actually started practicing at SWAT a little bit just because you know this week was very hot. I mean, man, the wet temperature was. I mean, I want, for, I want, at one point I want to say it was like 107, 108, may have got up to 111. So you know, the biggest thing is just making sure that they're safe and. Um, I always try to keep an eye on him and, and look at, you know, you see a guy wobbling or you see his eyes get low. You want to make sure he's okay. But, um, you know, we also have to make sure that we can be in the heat as well because at the end of the day, Friday night, it's time to go. It's time to go. I, I love it. I love sweat. I, I love that you said sweat equity. I, yes. I love that. Uh, so um, let, let's, before we move on to, to some players, um, you know, just what, what, what have you seen? What, what have you enjoyed about uh, this team that you have this year? Man, the growth, um, seeing guys step up, you know, these guys are up here for a reason. Um, you know, honestly, if it was up to me, we'd have the whole team up here because, I mean, um, you know, I can, I can shout out Edison, um, you know, our middle school guys. Um, we got a guy from New Mexico, Josiah. He's doing real well. It was exciting to see him come on. And I think, you know, everybody just, you know, to see the, the camaraderie and 
how everybody's just growing together and, and, and getting better as a team. So if it was up to me, we would have every single player up there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, and we'll, we'll give opportunities. This isn't this isn't a one-and-done one, one and done type deal. Uh, Coach, I'm going to move on to, to Austin. Austin, uh, thanks for being here. Um, first, uh, what, what's your what's your class? What, what year are you? Um, junior. You're a junior. Yes, what sir. position do you play? Uh, center and middle linebacker. All right. So um, talk to me about, uh, you know, your football experience. You know, did you play – were, were you on last year's team? Um, and, you know, just what have you enjoyed this year uh, coming into it? You know, how much are you looking forward to it? Uh, I started playing freshman year, and this year is really looking forward to the, the growth we've had. I mean, we, me and L.A. were on this program when we started and seeing the how far we've come from freshman year and the all the skill we've grown. When you when you starting like that and you're talking about you know freshman year and, and now you're gaining some confidence right and here you are junior, um, you know what do you do you take any of that to some of the younger guys and you say all right uh, you know we're we're trying to build something you know what's the message you know as kind of an upperclassman you know junior and senior that's the where the leaders start to really shine through and you know that can make a big difference on the team, uh, but you know w- what kind of experience do you have to to give to the other kids. I mean, kind of keep going, give it your all every practice, you know, never give up in a game. This this team, um, you know, when you talk about uh, Providence and, uh, you know, w- whatever happens, wins or losses, uh, just how much are y'all playing together? How much have you enjoyed just uh, the camaraderie of, of getting to know each other? I mean, we got a great team. I've played with these guys for three years now and the freshmen and stuff. I'm seeing every day at school, so it's a, it's a great camaraderie with all of us. I'm interested to know too, um, since you you know freshman to uh, now year going to start year three. How have you seen the the spirit, the school spirit grow? You know how much uh, you know is is the school you know just gaining momentum uh, to get behind you guys? Uh, it's it's fun to see the program grow with like school spirit and stuff. And as we get bigger, have more school spirit and more students back back backing us. Coach Love, I, I want to get you to uh, elaborate on Austin here and just tell me a little bit about him and, you know, what, what uh, you know, why he's one of the guys up here, you know, what, what, he, what, he, what he's bringing to the team. Yeah, most well, certainly. Um, so, man, looking at Austin coming in day one, um, you know, he accepted the challenge. And that is, you know, hey, showing up every day, putting in the work and then very consistent, um, you know, not a, it's a situation where in some cases he's not the most outspoken guy, but that's perfectly fine. You know, you look at guys like Eli Manning, they're quiet leaders. And, you know, leading by example is a great thing, especially when we got a, you know, we got a smaller program, we got younger guys. It's perfectly fine. And um, to see the work that he puts in on both sides of the ball, you know, he's a captain on both sides of the ball. He's a leader on both sides of the ball. And we ask him to do a lot. And he accepts that challenge and he has no problem with it at all. Yeah, there's a, there, and there's nothing wrong with not being vocal. I, I, uh, Jet Williams, who I was talking about earlier, drafted to the Mets. Uh, I, I did a, a little story on him before he was drafted. And a lot of his teammates were talking about he's not a vocal guy. He's not a raw, raw guy. He's not, a, uh, he's not that type of leader. Uh, but he's a guy that you see working uh, – in the in practices in the weight room uh he's a guy that you see working and working and working and he's just trying to set the set the bar and and just lead by that way and so uh yeah i mean you everybody has their own way of leading and so um austin um you know before i move on to to elliot um you know just kind of as you approach this year uh and you get ready for your first game uh just you know what's what's the mooder team how excited are you oh we're all pumped we're pumped we're pumped for next friday night yeah, I, I bet uh, it's it should, uh, should, August thirtieth. Now that I know, because you, you were yeah, Coach Valle was telling me. Um, Elliot, thanks uh, thanks for joining. Uh, what what year are you? I'm a junior. And what what positions do you play? Quarterback. Quarterback. All right. Yes, so so you're the guy. Uh, I I, I want to know like it's a unique like I said six man football is is very unique. Um, and there's a lot of pitches. There's a lot of misdirection. There's a, a lot of trickery, if you will, involved. And uh, sometimes uh, the quarterback's not the one throwing the ball. Um, just, you know, how, how much fun is it to play six man football in the quarterback position? It's a lot of fun, a lot of improvising when you know, a play blows up, you know, I'm just throwing fingers around that I go across and especially at the last scrimmage. I, I don't want to disrespect six man football. There is a lot of like, uh, schoolyard, uh, things going on because, uh, you, sometimes you're right. Th- things break down quickly and everything's moving so fast that you've got to improvise and, and do some Patrick Mahomes type, yeah. uh, just kind of, uh, t- shoveling, the, shoveling, shoveling the ball out. But, um, you know, with, with your experience and, uh, you being the quarterback and obviously one of the, the, the leaders and probably a vocal guy as, as a quarterback, 
just uh, you know, what have you seen from this team that you that excites you this year? Uh, the improvement starting from the spring. I mean, we've had we haven't had the same coach for a year, but Coach Love has helped us improve the most, I think, and uh, like full new coaching staff, like what we started in the spring and what we've come to now is hundred percent better than what we started with. Yeah, and uh, obviously there's some challenges uh, with that when you talk about coaching, but when you but I'm sure you pick up along the way little things that, that help build each other. And uh, that's when a team, in my in my view, really has to come together. And, uh, you know, they've got to have some accountability and say it doesn't, you know, not, not the coach love here that doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's uh, it's internal. And uh, the coaches, they can give you the plays. They can tell you where to be. They can give you uh, all the, the pointers and the tips. But at the end of the day, you guys have to take care of business. Um, and when you're together, I'm, I'm curious to know, um, you know, just – what you've learned about yourself along the way, knowing that, that it's like, all right, it's, it's really up to us uh, to, to make this happen. Yeah, we've had to stick together the last three years, and I think we've done well uh, lifting each other up and making sure we're all accounted for. And I, I didn't ask Austin, but I'll, I'll get back and ask him. Do you play any other sports? Uh, I did play basketball, but now it's just all now, football. Now you now just all football. Um, as you approach this this year, um, you know what's what's the key? What's the difference? You know what's uh, what's the key to uh, maybe taking another step and getting some more wins under your belt and uh, you know looking like hey, we want to be a playoff team. Yeah, uh, certainly. I think practicing like we play in a game, and no practice should be just mess around with. We. Just work 100% every practice, and that's how we're going to win. When um, we're talking with uh, the Lions, well, Providence Academy here in Rockwall, um, did, uh, I'll ask uh, Coach Valle in a minute. I was going to ask about campus and all that stuff, how things are going, but I'll ask them that in a minute. Some challenges uh, as far as, um, you know, wh where you guys are working out at and things like that. Um, you know, you just making the most of it. You know, how do you guys uh, just stay uh, prepared? Is it just one of those things where it's like we control, we control, but we're, we're going to go practice wherever and we're going to go play whoever. Uh, you know, w w what are some challenges uh, for you on that front? Uh, well, certainly the weather, the heat outside. <laughs> It's but, a little hot. Yeah. Today felt great. It makes us tough, that's for sure. Yeah. And, I mean, we'll work with what we got. Didn't, no excuses to be made. Um, we, uh, we, when, we, when we look back uh, at this year, uh, once when we're all said and done, we're not going to make predictions on wins and losses. Um, but in your mind, you know, just what, what, could, what are you going to hang your hat on and say, yeah, that's, we're, we're proud of that. It doesn't matter, um, you know, is it s sticking together? Is it just, uh, you know, building memories? What is it to you that's the, the most important? Just leaving it all out all on the field. And I think wins, wins matter, but as long as we improve, I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah, 100%. Coach, uh, I'm going to get you to, uh, to talk a little bit about Elliott and, you know, just kind of what the what the quarterback means to your position. Obviously, it's an important position sure. to you, but uh, you know, if you can talk about Elliott just a little bit. Most certainly, man. He, uh, he accepts the challenge, and he asks for more. Um, I know we played the, we played the scrimmage in Azel, and uh, he was the first – as soon as the scrimmage was over, he was like, hey, Coach, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? And I was like, yeah, most certainly. You know, you ask for it, I'll definitely bring it. And so I, I like that about him. He takes the initiative. He pushes other guys. And like I said, you know, um, Austin, he's leading by example. Elliot leads by example as well. And so, you know, the competition between those guys is there. You can just that fire. When any drill we have, when they step up to the challenge, when they get on the line, it's time to go. And so to be able to see that from him and knowing he's in that position of quarterback, it's beautiful to see because, you know, a lot of times you have to instill some things in guys. He already has it. It's ingrained in him. And so um, it's awesome to see. How many seniors do you have, Coach? We have zero seniors. Zero seniors. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's uh, something to build on, and, and now you uh, you know that whatever these guys are doing, you know whatever you're doing, uh, it's you know it's in place for next year, right? Uh, and so that that's uh, pretty exciting to see. Uh, good good luck to both of you uh, this year um, you. as the, the football season comes, uh, Coach Bay. Uh, I'm, I'm pronouncing it like I know what I'm saying. I had to ask him right. before, before the, the show started. I can't even pronounce my last name correctly. I'm ashamed. I'm terrible uh, Hispanic. Um, Coach, um, you know, how's it going? You know, obviously, um, you know, you, you I, can't, I see a lot of what you do on, on social media and some posts you make. I know you're really excited, not just about uh, football, but everything that y'all have going on uh, over at the academy. Uh, but as it relates to football, uh, how excited are you for this year? Yeah, I mean, the – the culture and, and the organization and the professionalism that, that we see or that I see on the field every day is, is night and day from where we've been. 
testament is to the of, of that is to what Coach Love has brought and um, the coaching staff around him. Caleb Haney runs our offense. He's a local guy. Played with the Bears, Broncos, Cowboys. Um, so he's kind of overhauling the offense for us. <laughs> so thankfully, the film yeah. of the past that people are watching <laughs> will really count for this year. Um, and then uh, you know Tyler running defense and and Shane um, as an assistant. So. Um, we've just got a really good staff, right? So the practices are just structured. Every minute matters. Um, and you can tell, like, watching them repeatedly over and over again from where they have been. And it's no it's no insult to anybody who's been a part of the program in the past, but it's, it's night and day. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, uh, and it's, sometimes it's just a, a different voice, a uh, different way of saying it, a different way of doing it. Uh, and, you know, that's – it's always – when we see coaching changes, it's not like that coach was bad. It's just that uh, – it we get the message through a different way and right. the kids receive it a different way. And we build excitement through, uh, through the current coaches that we have through coach love. Um, you know, this, uh, you know, wh- what was it about coach love, uh, that, that was like, Hey, uh, this is the guy that this is going to help us. This, this guy's going to, you know, improve this, this school. So I won't do the long story as too long, but, um, <laughs> I actually run, run running a, a team of insurance adjusters outside of this work. And I hired him for that. <laughs> so when we were doing a search, you know, one day I was just laying, laying down, um, after I woke up and somebody put it on my mind and my heart, I'm like, why don't I ask Brandon? <laughs> so that day I called him and 24 hours later, he says, man, I looked up six man football. This looks phenomenal. I'm in. Um, and as we started to talk about who he is as a man, a person of faith and his, and his, he, he's very humble. He didn't talk. He played college at Alabama state offensive line, went against some NFL quality players every, um, on a day-to-day basis. So, um, from the get-go, his excitement, enthusiasm, and experience, I knew would be a perfect fit for what we're trying to do here. Um, it, we're talking uh, Providence Academy of Rockwall. Um, overall, you know, everything you got going, uh, facilities, um, you know, everything that's uh, coming in the future and things that are happening right now, how excited are you and, and what are some things that you could share uh, with us? Sure. I always say it's never, it's never better to, been a better time to be a Lion, and, and today is, is, is that. Um, yeah, we, we practice on our land. We bought 10 acres last year at Sabine Creek Ranch. We own that land. That's where they practice when it's not too hot. <laughs> um, so we're there every day. We got, we striped that land out for them, but, um, yeah, we're hoping to get our building, our gym, our classrooms, everything opened up, uh, beginning or shortly after the start of the next school year. Um, and that would change everything for us, allow us to grow us our enrollment, our facilities, um, all the resources we have for our teachers, our students, our athletes, um, it's a great time. I mean, I, I think our numbers this year went up about 30 um, students this year at the school, and literally where we go to school, we we're bursting at the seams. We we cannot cannot hold them. <laughs> so uh, we need this building up for our, our current athletes and students, and then for the ones who are on our 100 plus waiting list to get in. Um, so we're trying to make that happen um, to benefit everybody who's a part of the school. Um, beyond football, other other sports and things like that. When you talk about volleyball and mm-hmm. uh, you know basketball, things like that. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, can you, can you give us a, a, an overview, you know, how things are going, you know, what, what, what the, those coaches are excited about? Yeah, no, volleyball's, uh, I think they're four matches in, uh, four very competitive matches that they've had. We have a new coach there too, but, um, again, numbers have increased. So now we got a JV team as a 1A school, which is mm-hmm. very rare. Yep. Um, so they're out there competing, um, doing a great job. Same thing with our cross country program, basketball. I know you had us last year for that. Yep. I appreciate it. And, uh, that team has grown. Now they have a JV girls team. Uh, so we're, we're excited about what they're going to do this year. We think that they can take that next step deeper into the postseason this year. And now boys basketball, we got a new coach uh, there too. We got a lot of new coaches this year, <laughs> um, uh, all very good coaches. So um, we're excited about what he's doing. He's, he's changing the culture of that program as well in a, in a very good way. And, um, you know, our swimmers are still there. They were in state last year. Uh, we expect them to be back this year again. So, yeah, it, it's it's a great school for those who um, buy into the model that we have as a university model school, but those that say, I want ath- athletics for our teams as well, um, because it's no longer, well, well it's just school, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's who we right. are. But if you want to have a competitive athletic program that competes at a high level, we've got that. I, I imagine it's, um, it's both exciting for the future, but as you live in the present, it's gotta be like, Oh man, we've got so many good pieces here. Like, we just, uh, you know, we're, we're missing some some things, you know. Um, how, how do you, how do you, you know, just say, hey, be patient? How do you stay patient in, in your faith and, and prayer and just say, you know what, it, this is coming. We got a good thing. I don't want to look to the future. I want to enjoy right now. Well, the faith is paramount, but I know I speak to my team and I know our coaches believe it. We, we, we focus on the things that we can control, control the controllables and be where our feet are. Um, what the future is, is there. It's going to be there. And we want these guys and our, our female athletes to experience that. But right now we have 
the resources that we do have and we, we support as much as that we can. And to the credit of our teachers, students, everybody involved, nobody has ever come to me and, and used, we don't have that, that's why we can't win. Or we, we're not being successful Love because it. we don't have that. I mean, yeah, if we can control what we can control, we're going to live with the results yep. in, in sports, in the classroom, in life, and we do that. Yeah, uh, I love it. Um, I, I also want to know, so uh, I was going to ask you, what, what sports, so what's, what are all the sports you have there? Um, Cross country, swim, boys and girls basketball, volleyball, football, um, track and field, cheerleading, which are, they're doing a phenomenal job yep. as well. I'm glad um, you said points, yeah. points for saying that when I asked sports and you said cheerleading because that is absolutely those those uh, young uh, women and men, uh, if they choose, the, those are some athletes right there. Yeah, no, we we we're, we we they, they make everything so much better for us and yep. they bring a lot of spirit and uh, to our school. So we have those programs and we have them at both the high school and the middle school level nice. and elementary for cross country. So. Um, you know, I appreciate you asking because a lot of times when I share with folks, you know, they ask that question like, man, that's a lot of sports for a 1A yeah. school. I'm like, yeah, we do. We got the coaches and we got the kids that want to do these things. 1A, so what, how do, what do y'all go? Like, what's the highest level? So 1A, um, so how's it go? So that goes to about, I'm not, I don't know the TAPS formula, but it's a formula they have. Um, the number that we're that you have to be under, I believe, is 70 or 68, 69 around there. So we're we were under that number. We were about 57 or 50. Is there like a one double A before you get to two A, or is no, it it's it just is like one A, two A, three A? Yeah, I think it goes all the way up to four. Four. Yeah, okay. Four okay. five. Okay, gotcha. So, um, we won't be there, so I haven't tracked the four or five. Yeah. Six. No, no. I, I just I, I'm curious. You know, the structure. Obviously, I'm uh, familiar with public UIL, school yeah. and, and how that goes, yeah. and and really uh, Dallas Christian on a, the 11 man front. You know, I'm kind of I'm familiar right. with uh, right. with how they do it. So I was wondering. Um, yeah, gentlemen, thank you, thank you for uh, joining and uh, sharing a little bit about what you're doing. Coach Love is really nice to meet you, and That's I got to get your contact information. Um, you know, I I love to drop in practices. Uh, I love to get interviews um, out there, uh, especially uh, at games. I love to be on the sidelines and just have access uh, to the kids, you know, if, if you'll have me. Um, and really, it's just to, just to highlight some kids and, and benefit uh, the, the programs and, uh, you know, you know, give them a, a spotlight, you know, and, and a place to, uh, to shine on our small little websites uh, that we have. So uh, I, I appreciate you coming through, no through here. Uh, do, uh, is everybody Cowboys fans? Yes, sir. I'm Miami sir. Dolphins. Miami Dolphins. Born and raised Miami and I did, got no, a Patriot. You're a Patriot fan. <laughs> okay. I didn't well, know that. I would have hired him. I'm so, I'm <laughs> so glad that uh, the glory days are over for you guys. So we'll we, see too, man. People we'll can see. stop Patriot talking way. about Patriots or America's team and all that stuff. That's the Cowboys <laughs> and, uh, yeah, then the Dolphins, they just can't play in the cold. So they better – better, <laughs> We got to have some home yeah, games. They better, better get some home games yeah. in. Uh, well, uh, I, I could pr- – convince these guys i can convince well i don't know a lot of cowboys fans uh, are against dak prescott i'm a dak prescott guy uh i think uh dak prescott and I, my the guys who co-host up with me kevin wingfield and james uh uh mr branch uh, they get on me every time i bring up dak prescott but uh anytime i can bring up dak prescott i'm gonna do it because that's our guy and that's really all we have so it has to be our guy so uh, go cowboys and go Providence Academy Lions, right. not not the Detroit Lions. We don't want yeah. them to go. No, so. no, no. We're we're happy to have this uh, <laughs> join your stage now, and now we got your set complete, and yes, you're represented be, on a daily, a I'm, weekly basis. I'm very you? excited. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, now I felt you were left out the last year, and so now now we're complete. The circle is complete, <laughs> and uh, fitting that it's a lion that completes so, the circle. There right? you go. Right? Uh, all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Elliot uh, Austin. Good luck to you this year. Thank I you. can't wait thank to you. watch you guys play. Uh, go have some fun, and uh, you know, make some memories and. Uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll let the chips fall where they fall, right? Yeah, that's right. All right, uh, Coach, uh, Mr. Uh, Coach Baye, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, um, you'll hear me ramble for just a minute, and then I'm going to play the interview uh, with Coach Brooks that I did for Rockwall and the Yellow Jackets. Don't go.